What's up guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for tuning in. For my reoccurring subscribers, I apologize. I've been off YouTube for like almost two months now, which is crazy. Had a lot of personal life stuff going on. However, we're back with the Ram and actually, it does look a little bit different because we're back on stock wheels and tires. I sold my fuels and I also sold my forces and uh, I did those for a pretty good reason. However, we're not going to stop doing stuff to the truck even though it looks like a pappy truck right now. The nice thing is the first mod we're going to be doing coming back to the YouTube platform, back to my hopefully weekly uploading, is actually going to enhance the look of the truck on stock wheels and that, my guys, would be some wheel spacers. So spacers aren't necessarily my cup of tea either, however, they will give me a really nice stance on the stock wheels on the truck. The spacers here right behind me are actually from Far From Stock. So if you're not familiar with Far From Stock, these are the wheel spacers that Whistlin Diesel uses on all his YouTube videos. And, and I've seen videos where he stacked like 12 of these spacers up and threw some ridiculous wheels on one of his old Duramaxes and they just never broke. So the spacers here are two inches and I got two inch ones on purpose so that way I don't have to cut my factory studs because that is a no-go in my book. But these guys are made out of a forged aluminum and they actually use studs. These are pressed in studs are supposedly actually three grades higher than what DOT actually even requires. So you might be asking why I'm putting wheel spacers on the truck with stock wheels and it is actually a pretty good question I guess if you want. So these wheels and tires, so these are my stock uh, Bighorn 18 inch wheels and they're currently wrapped in a Toyo Open Country AT3 and the size here is a 295.70. So I did 295.70 because I wanted these wheels, well I wanted the tires to fit on the truck, stock suspension with no rubbing whatsoever. Now, looking back, I wish I would have gone with a full 35 1250 because that would look so good on the truck. However, with no spacers, a full 35 1250 will rub on the inside. Uh, I believe somewhere like on the sway bar or somewhere on the uh, chassis of the truck itself. So I went with a safe route with no spacers. However, I did know at some point, I man, I love the Bubba truck look and the spacers are going to help push the stock wheels out and make it look more like a Bubba truck. And I actually have a lift kit for the truck. I bought like two months ago never installed it never even told you guys picture this truck here behind me let's say two and a half inch lift kit right stock wheels poked out a little bit 37 1250s come on tell me that's not going to look fantastic on this and then if i go back to buying like an american force or another aftermarket wheel with an offset obviously like i could probably fit some 35s at that point but either way uh spacers are going to be for the stock wheels and i'm actually doing this at my work right now because if you guys have watched my videos before my driveway at home is on a pretty big grade and i don't want to pull all four wheels and tires off because i actually want to do a tire rotation while i'm at this as well so either way i'll stop talking let's get the spacers and stuff on the truck see how they look and uh well that'll be it we'll get going from there so truck up in the air don't have a uh, don't have a lift here however i do have four floor jacks which is going to make my life a lot easier don't want to bore you too much i did learn a really cool new trick so all four wheels on the truck right now and just like that they are off now i did get all four wheels i rotated them how i like to rotate them and i already put one spacer on just to kind of see how it looks how it feels through all the nuts on the inside and i did torque them to spec of course that is a uh, that is a thick boy if you will the other three of course are uh, still chilling up this way so either way gonna get all four of these on like i said i don't want to bore you too much so i'm just gonna get all four uh, on i did end up using a little bit of loctite little medium uh, medium strength Loctite. Directions from far from stock say it's not necessary. However, I don't want to lose any wheels. So I'm uh, going to get all four of these on. I'll throw the wheels and tires on, show you the review, and uh, I'll kind of be about it. So uh, later. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. 
I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rats in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back, better than last Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back I'm never gonna look back Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes Best angle by far, right here I mean, this ain't no aftermarket wheel, of course, and these aren't like 35 by 1250s or 295.70s, so like a 34 and a half by like 11 and a half, so not super thick, but damn, that looks good. That looks, personal opinion, I'm biased, of course. That looks good. That is a nice amount of poke on a stock wheel on a stock looking truck. So what do you guys think? Like I said, personal opinion, the three quarter rear is the angle to be. Look at that, bam. Now, like I said, nothing too crazy at all. Now, if I actually throw some 35s or 37s maybe in the future on these wheels, it'll even be better yet. But fitment looks fantastic. We're gonna go for a drive here in a second. I'm actually just gonna drive it home. I'll, then I'll you know, give you guys a report before I sign off. But front, also looking pretty good. So, um, honestly, these sit almost, eh, not quite as wide as my 10 watt fuels did. Obviously nowhere close to like my 12 watt forces, but you probably have, I mean, you got almost a whole freaking lug sticking out. Um, yeah, pretty damn close. So I don't know, I'd say you probably about an inch, inch and a half maybe sticking out of poke on, you know, either side. There's that, there's your rear. That is a thick stock boy. So this is kind of, you know what I mean? Like this is what I'm saying. This is a quote unquote Bubba status, if you will. So what do you guys think? Drop a comment below. I'm curious to see your opinions on this because I, I see this style happening a lot lately and uh, I'm happy I joined. So either way, gonna wrap up, close up everything I gotta go to here and uh, get my ass home. I'll give you guys a report after my drive home. Look at it. She's thick with two C's and stock wheels, baby. Thick two C stock wheels, let's go. All right, and we are home. So, I mean, I don't live very far from work, like 10, 15 miles at the most. I will say everything feels pretty good. I did just do a highway pull because some kid in the BMW thought he was cool. And I mean, I just did like a on-ramp to like 95 till we hit some traffic. And honestly, I didn't want to do that, but I did do that. And you know what? Everything felt pretty good. So I think we're in good shape. So I will drive this for like maybe 100 miles, re, you know, pull the wheels back off, retorque the uh, spacers, and then maybe like after another thousand miles or so, and just to make sure everything's cool because I am always a little iffy. However, like I said, I see Whistling Diesel do way worse with spacers and a lot of other guys here on not only YouTube, but Instagram. So uh, all that being said, that is all I have for you guys. I hope you liked the video. Video. Hope, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe, join the family, join the Cummins build, and I will see you guys uh, next week. Peace.